Hello, this is lecture number 6 on electron pneumatic circuits. In total, it's a 18th lecture for mechatronics. Okay. The, this is the sixth uh, lecture number. The question is very typical. The question is seems like a simple, but it's a very typical. You read the problem. A draw electron pneumatic circuit for A plus, A minus, delay A plus, B minus. So, in this case, uh, the first cylinder has to go and come back and after that some delay, some delay period, second cylinder has to go and come back. So, I will start with one, one control button that is emergency control button. So, this is a ladder, electrical ladder, this is, that is called a rung. This is called a. This is called a electric ladder. The figure name is electric logic ladder circuit. I have to draw this. So in this case, I'll use one master control button. That is a dependent switch. So, this is why this is required, it is called S0, S0, if I press S0, then only the entire circuit has to start, if I off the S0, then the immediately the circuit has to stop, this is S0, it is called emergency control. Now, so I will start, that is first is sequential A+, plus. for A+, plus some reference is required, A+, plus is nothing but Y1, you can take directly A+, plus or Y1. Suppose if I take uh, Y1, that is A plus, the reference, may I take a S1 reference, S2 reference, S3 or S4, there is a confusion. So always you see that the last is B minus, B minus means what, what happened, the piston comes to B minus means the piston comes to S3, so that I will take a reference is S3. Now I will take a, a reference is S3, when S3 is on, now presently S3 is on, when S3 is on, Y1 should be on. So, this is the symbol for solenoid. This is a symbol for solenoid. Okay. So, this name of this solenoid is called Y1 or A plus. Y1. So, when it goes to S2, when it goes to S2, the what? should be happen A minus, you see here A minus. So when it goes to S2, when it goes to S2, A minus, swallow line. But here you see that A minus is nothing but Y2. You see here when it comes back to S1, once again the already S3 is on, once again the piston goes to S2. So, only the first way, if I draw these two lines, electrical lines, electrical logic lines, so what happens, it goes to S2, then comes back to S1, it goes to S2, comes back to S1, the second cylinder is not moving at all, okay, before uh, going to second, uh, any action, the first will be oscillating here only, so that to stop S1 here, after one stroke, what I will do? So that whatever, suppose it reaches to S2, which is on Y1. And one more thing you observe, when it goes to here, S1 is off. When it reaches here, S2 is on. So Y2 is on. When it comes back, immediately S2 is off. Here, what I will do, I will latch S2. I will take a signal. This S2 signal should be on. When it comes to here, when it comes to here, this signal I will make on, the automatically off. Means what? What I will do here? To avoid this problem, how to overcome this problem? It's a very typical problem. So when it reaches to S2, what I'll do? I'll use a relay. Suppose relay name is it may be K or K1 or R. Suppose if I use a K1, when it is K1, K1, Y2 should be on. So this K1 should be remains on. Where up to S1. So that K1 I'll write. But one more thing. This K1 should I break, when I will when break, 
Next time when y1 should be on, y2 should be break. y2 means k1 should be break. Whenever I am latching, I should know that somewhere I will break this k1. So that when piston goes to S4, when piston goes to S4, then come back to S3, then S1 will start. So that I have a scope. When it reaches to S4, I will what? I will break this k1. Okay. So whenever you are latching, you should know that the how when I will break this latching also, k1. When K1 is on, definitely what happened? When K1 is on, then Y2, it has to go back. It has to go back. So, this is symbol of solenoid Y2. Now, what happened? Initially, you see here, the S1, it goes to S2. When it goes to S2, one more problem, just you see that. S3 is here only. When it goes to S2, okay, the K1 signal will on. But so already the Y1 is on. Y1 is on. So that here, even at reaches to S2, the piston is not coming back because this is a Y1 is on. So that one more thing I have to see here. S1 should also I'll take care. When it goes to here, the S1 will be off automatically. Y1 will be off. So that Y2 action will be taken. So that this is a one more critical point. And one more thing, so whatever the K1, when it comes back, K1 should on, the K1 should break this switch. So initially, K1 is close, initially K1 is close, when the piston comes back, K1 is remains on up to S4. K1, you are generating a K1 here and you are making off up to S4, up to S4, so that you are making off K, you are generating K, K1 here and you are making off here so that when it comes back k1 is on automatically y1 will be stopped so that crystal will be stopped here so the entire three lines by using three lines it goes to s2 and comes back so that this is s1 is also important k1 is also important and s2 is in my master control now so and after that you see that a plus a minus is over delay delay means the timer has to on when it reaches to s1 already it is at the s1 beginning when it reaches to s1 means what not only one condition is sufficient so one more condition is k is remains on k1 when k1 is on when it goes to s2 means when it goes to s2 and come back when it goes to s2 and comes back if both the conditions are satisfied so on delay timer on delay timer t t or t1 if you are only using s1 but initially the timer will start no after one stroke the timer will start when the timer will start when the timer will be on delay it may be 10 second 5 second okay this is symbol for timer switch then then when it is at s3 when it is at s3 already s3 is there as well as as well as the piston should be at s1 the piston should be at s1 okay and not only s1 initially also s1 one more thing the k1 should on now k1 should on because after one stroke after half stroke k1 has started so that both the condition it has to reach to s1 as well as k1 otherwise if you are not using k1 then initially it will start so that k1 definitely what happens K1. So, this is called B plus or Y3. B plus 3 or Y3. Now, when it reaches to S4 and immediately, immediately what happened? Two actions. So, one is it will off. S4 will be on. K1 is off. Y2 will be off. And Y it will close. It will start for next cycle. But S1 is on. But S3 is now off. So, that Y1 is not working now if it is a s4 okay so it is a s4 now what happened here that is y4 it's a y4 so there are first a plus a minus a minus two lines a minus and timer delay then b plus then b minus so this line is B plus B minus. So like this, when it comes back, S3 is on, S3 is on. 
and already S1 is on and already K1 is closed because K1 is off here when, when it reaches to S4 so that the next cycle will continue. I hope you understood the working of A plus, A minus, delay, B plus and P minus. Okay. So same circuit I show on the software, it is called fluid same software, Festo software. Now this is working or not, okay, I will show. Here you can use S3 also, there is a, a, a not essential condition, it is a desirable condition. If you use S3 also, okay, if you are not using S3 also, okay. Now, you see a same circuit A plus, A minus, delay B plus, B minus. Now, this is the start button, emergency button. S1, this conditions you see that S1 should be required, S2 should be required. Both are on already, the arrow mark shows on and K1. If I press this, and I have to use a start button. A plus and A minus is over and on relay timer has started I have put now 5 second 8 second then second cylinder A plus A minus is over on delay 8 second then B plus B minus ok so I can reduce the delay timing instead of 8 second I can go for 4 second and start button Okay, I hope you understood. Thank you.